Basically what we were trying to do with the jammies was, was bring real life, whether that be dance, fashion, music, social issues, into animation. A lot of times animation is an escape from real life to kind of get you to forget things. And that's where a lot of the kooky fun type animation comes into play. But at the end of the day, tackling those social issues was just something that we felt like had to be done because it's happening all the time. It's something that we couldn't ignore. We right. had to just continue to talk about it and bring awareness and, and not turn you know, away from the things that were happening. We kept watching television and what was being seen was shows that yeah, pretty much catered to wizardry and magic. Wasn't no real substance type shows as when we were growing up. So it wasn't nothing that was relative or current to the kids of today. So we said, okay, how could we be the electric company or the schoolhouse rock of today's generation? They like 50, they like Jay-Z, but we can't let them listen to 50 and Jay-Z. So why don't we become, you know, little 50 and little Jay-Z with, you know, content centered around kids of this millennium. Who are you? Welcome to the sub. Students underground because of bullies. We were expecting you, novelist. We understand that there is a need for this type of property. There's a void to fulfill, and that's that, that encouragement from being a child when you're pampered by a parent to a teen when your parents send you off to school for six hours to be with people who you hardly even know. We want to be that bridge, that safe bridge between preschool and high school. With his background in animation and my background in journalism, we knew how to write and knew what we were looking for, but we had to learn the process. Most people would just turn it over to whomever it is that facilitated the funding and let them handle it and we just get all the accolades and be cool, but no, we were um, very hands-on. When you're moonwalking, you gotta bust it like this. Yeah, yes. Tell him, look out. One of the guys that I went to school with I called him up, I said, hey, we got this concept, this idea. Um, I wonder if you can come sit with me. I got some, some sketch drawings, but you're the guy. So we came in, we hashed out some ideas. We got the finalized version. We knew some people that knew some people that were in the animation game and they introduced us to a guy by the name of Peter Keith, who was one of the creators of Voltron. So he mentored us on, on, on the steps to take as far as the business side, how to get funded, how to put the proper package together when you're talking to people. In a nutshell, all we did is we married the music world, the fashion world, and the animation world from a number standpoint all the one to make it make sense. And that's what got us the funding for the, the actual animation to be produced. It all goes back to us no sleep and diligently looking for what it took to get us to the next level. If I don't stand for something, then I stand for nothing. Like my boys from the south, we gon' stand for something. My dad said something to me that I always remember, and he says, nothing beats a failure but a try. You have to be okay with the failure. The failure is a lesson. You learn what not to do. So try again without doing those exact same steps and just don't be afraid. At the end of the day, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable mm -hmm. because that's where creativity lives. 